Jaden here, just to, my, uh, to do a rant actually. Um, do you find that at the moment, and I guess in the last few months, that uh, the COVID thing has been a convenient excuse for people who are lazy, who are running businesses? Um, my wife and myself go to a coffee shop from time to time, or pretty regularly these days, just to get out of the house. And uh, it's amazing how many coffee shops are closing at 1.30 because of uh, COVID. No, it's not, it's because they're lazy. That's why they're closing at 1.30. And uh, it's just amazing how many businesses are doing that. Today, I went to Woolworths, uh, Exhibit A, okay? And of course, when I go to Woolworths, it's a really big spend. Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, look what Gower told me to go shopping. I got some rolls and I got some, what is it? Mini, mini blueberry muffins, yeah. Okay, that's the that's the breadth of my shopping skills, I'm afraid. She said to me, what if you get small muffins? And I said, well, I wasn't that hungry. Anyway, um, so therefore, went to Woolworths and guess what? They've only got one cash register open that if you want to go through and get it, you know, done by the cash register person and uh, everything else is self-serve. And they've got signs up to validate that by saying, look, we've gone even more crazy with our self-serve because of COVID, okay? I don't know why, because there's more people squashed up at the self-serve than there would be in the queue to go through that. It's just amazing. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm bitching and moaning about this is because uh, if you fall into the other category, and that is you're a true entrepreneur, so you've pivoted, I hate that word, everyone's pivoting, but anyway, that, that word just wasn't in existence until this all came along. But if you are one of those entrepreneurs who have pivoted, then you might like to attend my webinar tonight. I've got one at seven o'clock and it's all about what we call incentive-based marketing. And incentive-based marketing, as the name infers, is when you offer someone something to buy uh, your products or services. Now, this here is what's happening in our household at the moment. It's the Coles little book collection, I think, uh, here it is here, so the little books. And not for our children, because they're in their 20s, we've got millennials, uh, and six of them. But they've had some children. A few of our millennials have had children, and they're three and four and five years of age. And so therefore, Gail is shopping at Coles because of this incentive. And if you are, are in a business where it's a me too industry, in other words, you know, you look like other players in the industry, you might like to consider coming into tonight's webinar. Because the thing is, is that I'll be showcasing to you a whole bunch of ideas that are incentive based. And if you think about incentives, McDonald's Happy Meal Toy is probably the most well known in the world because uh, in our instance, I think we bought about $6 billion worth of Happy, Meal toy, uh, Happy Meals because of the toy. Kids never ate the hamburger. Uh, and you've probably no doubt uh, bought some Kellogg's Corn Flakes over the years and found that there was a toy in the bottom of it and that's why you bought them. Um, so I would encourage you, if you own a business, to register the links above. Uh, it's probably gonna go for an hour. Uh, I'll try and make it interesting because I know what death by PowerPoint's like, okay? I'll try not to make it, I won't not try, I definitely will, it will not be death by PowerPoint. But I'll showcase to you uh, what I believe is the world's number one incentive, okay? Now we've got proof of that, I shouldn't say what I believe, I've actually got proof that this particular incentive, if you offer it, uh, with your products and services, just watch what happens to your business. I've got stats to show that this is probably the most successful uh, incentive promotion in the world because it's been used over and over and over again by various companies and it wins every time. Now I've given away refrigerators and TVs and washing machines and microwave ovens and all sorts of incentives over the years. And I'm telling you, nothing comes near this one. This is just a record breaker. And I'll be revealing it tonight and showing you how you can use it for your business. Don't I sound like a seminar speaker. I'll be revealing it tonight. Next, I would probably say, I'm doing this to give back, <laughs> to give back, no, I'm not. Uh, so listen, if you are looking for a, an incentive to make you stand out from the crowd, I'll give you an example. Um, I had a client uh, a few years ago, we're a marketing consultancy uh, business, of course, and he was selling grass, it was a turf farm. And what we did is that to distinguish him from other turf farms, because, you know, grass is grass, okay? We live on acreage and there's, it is, you know, we've got quite a bit of grass. Now, grass is grass is grass. So therefore, to distinguish him from the other turf farms, we actually offered landscapers, who were his number one client, uh, a free carton of Crown Lager if they actually bought the grass from him. What do you think they did? They swapped straight away. He told me that he sold six kilometres worth of grass because I went and visited his turf farm at one stage and it just went over and over and over mountain ranges. I said to him, how much grass have you got? He said, as far as the eye can see that way and as far as the eye can see that way. I said, oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, anyway, we sent out a mailer and also an email to landscapers in Brisbane and the Gold Coast because he was on the Gold Coast. And we said, look, for every home's worth of grass that you buy from us, we'll give you a carton of Crown Lager. Guess what? He sold out of six kilometres worth of grass within six days. And of course, he continues to do that now every year. 
So that's what an incentive can do for your business. Now, in their instance, I mean, for a landscaper, what do you think the happy milk clue would be? Beer, of course, a carton of beer. So if you're interested to um, think outside the square, not be lazy, like so many businesses are at the moment, where they're using this COVID thing as a convenient excuse, you're looking for an incentive to distinguish your products or services, then, uh, yeah, join us tonight. It's at 7 o'clock New South Wales time. So whatever state you're in, you have to work that out. But 7 o'clock New South Wales and Queensland and Victorian time. And you can register and get a seat by clicking above. Look forward to seeing you there.